border crossings. For 41 years, Germany was divided into East, the German Democratic Republic, or GDR, and West, the Federal Republic of Germany, or FRG. Until 1989, many people wanted to flee from the East, but its borders were nearly insurmountable. The GDR establishment systematically and continuously developed and secured its borders. That is why people tried to escape the GDR via so-called transit countries like Czechoslovakia and Hungary. One of those people is Anna, who escapes in the summer of 1987. Anna lives in Gotha. Her partner Janos is from Hungary, but he works in Vienna. It's a devilishly hot day that Anna is waiting for her train to Budapest. Anna thinks, everyone here still thinks I'm going to Hungary for a vacation. Once the train has arrived and Anna has boarded it, she very carefully places one of her bags on the seat next to her. Even though many people wanted to escape the GDR, others believed in what the GDR pretended to be. Reza is one of them. He flees from Iran in 1986 because he has been persecuted for his beliefs. First, Reza goes to Turkey, where he manages to get forged papers, a passport and visa for the GDR. Reza knows that he needs to get to the FRG through the GDR. He has read a lot and is sure that the GDR is a state where an ideal socialism can be lived. However, Reza is aware that he will not be granted asylum there. When he lands in East Berlin, Reza feels relieved to have finally arrived. He is excited and curious. As the train begins to move, Anna is overcome by emotions. She turns to the bag, reaches into it and carefully pulls out a baby. She whispers, shh, we are on our way. The last time that Anna and Janosch met was in East Berlin, a few weeks before their daughter was born. Janosch has never seen her. The rhythmic sound of the train calms Anna down. It's a moment of peace in the midst of a stressful journey. Reza, together with around 50 other refugees, is sitting in the transit area of Berlin's Schönefeld airport. They don't know why they have to wait for so long. Reza observes the police officers talking to each other. He doesn't understand what they are talking about. He asks the person sitting next to him, After two hours of waiting, the rumor spreads that they would be deported back to Turkey. It dawns on Reza that he is not welcomed with open arms. He gets scared and thinks, If they send me back to Turkey, I'll be deported from there straight to Iran. That means certain death. I would surely take my own life before that. In that moment, the door opens and Reza is called by a policeman. With enthusiasm, Reza says in English, I am a communist, you are a communist, and I am in a communist country. One can see the confusion on the policeman's face. He doesn't understand English. He says, Midcom. When the train arrives in Budapest, it's dark and chilly outside. The difficult part of their escape still lies ahead of them. A truck will bring them across the Hungarian-Austrian border. The meeting point is in a calm street not far from the train station. While searching for the truck, Anna clutches her bag with her daughter. Her heart is pounding. She's breathless. The baby wakes up and starts to cry. Where is he? What if something went wrong? Anna thinks to herself. With great relief, she finally sees the taillights of a truck with Austrian license plates. A man is waiting. 
the driver explains to her that she needs to hide in a secret compartment in the back of the truck. He tells her not to make any noise when they stop at the border. After they've climbed in and Anna has squeezed herself into the small hiding space, the driver closes the door to the secret compartment. Now Anna and her baby are alone in the dark. Almost there. We'll see Daddy soon, Anna whispers to her daughter. Reza is called to stand in line with the others. One by one they are directed to vacant cabins. A police officer follows Reza and orders, Ausziehen! Reza is confused. He feels ashamed and thinks, I have never had to undress in front of someone else. Nevertheless, he follows the command. As he realizes that he has been searched for drugs, his world falls apart. He would never have expected this from a country like the GDR. He feels disillusioned when he leaves the cabin. Then, suddenly, everything happens very quickly. Police officers bring them outside. People are being pushed into a bus. It is cold and Reza is freezing terribly. Where are they taking us now? Anna is cowering in the small space. She can feel the truck moving. She's clutching her baby anxiously. Anna is unable to sleep during the entire journey. She's scared of getting caught at the border. Suddenly, the truck slows down and stops. They've reached the border. Anna prays that the baby will not make any noise. Expecting the worst, she holds her breath. Her heart is beating quickly. It feels like an eternity. Suddenly, the truck starts moving again. Anna quietly starts to cry. I can't believe it. We are safe now. The bus takes Reza and the other refugees to an entrance leading down to an underground tunnel. Police officers push the group down the stairs. Reza has no idea where he is. He thinks, they're treating us like a herd of cattle. The policemen shout, Weiter! 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 They walk through the dark tunnel until they reach a metal gate. A police officer opens the gate and pushes the group through. Reza realizes it is an underground train station. In fact, it's the infamous Friedrichstraße subway stop which is also a central border crossing point between East and West Berlin. They don't know what to do, so they just get into the first train. Reza is not aware that this subway crosses the border to West Berlin. The GDR is deporting them. Other people have tried to cross that border for years. And Reza suddenly finds himself in West Berlin, just like that. Now he can apply for asylum in the FRG. Nowadays, this wouldn't be so easy. Thank you.